One of the most frequently asked questions with respect to the doors, windows and door window assemblies in the AEC tools within Caddy is how do we get the sills to appear as we want them? Some people want totally flush sills, some people want sills with horns, some people don't want sills drawn at all. So let's take a look at how we can customise the sills to appear just how we want them. So here we see we have a couple of walls, each with a window, a door window assembly and a door and they appear differently. The ones at the bottom are from a standard drawing and we'll show you how you can just insert those in just a second and then what we've done here is copied the particular wall and door window assembly then altered the properties to give a new representation for the sills and that's what we're going to show you how to configure as well. So the first thing we'll do is create our wall. So we'll go to the quick wall tool here, just, just choosing a standard wall, height, floor, floor by floor, story by story, so 2600, we've got a width on there, we're drawing it by the left, and I'm just going to draw a wall there, and then we'll abort, so we've got our wall, we can then drop in a window, so just a 900 window, dropping it in by the centre, we'll drop it in there, we'll go for a door window assembly, same thing here, and then we'll go for a, a door. So just dropping them in very, very quickly. And as far as the swing angle, we can type whatever swing angle we like for that. So there's our, our basic drawing. Let's take a look now at how we can customize that by simply copying it. So selecting it all and copying it. And we can copy it from here upwards. Having copied our wall, we'll now create new door, door window assembly and window styles which we can then alter to create differences within our drawing depending which style we adopt for those chosen objects. This we can do by selecting our object, our window in this case, right clicking, going down to window, copy and apply window style and we'll call this new window. Okay, do that and we can do the same, so just pressing escape there, do the same with the dual window assembly, copy and apply the style, new DWA there, escape again and we'll go on to the door. Once again copy and rename, so new door. Okay, do that and we now have our, our new styles. We'll shortly look at how we can tailor the individual sills for our objects, but before we do this we need to ensure that sills are actually displayed for that particular object type within the drawing. So let's take a look at how we can do that. Going to our AEC tools and display manager, we have a configuration that we can look at. So on on the base of our caddy we notice that we're in medium detail so this is the configuration we're looking at currently for medium detail we see that when we look from above from the top we're actually using a display representation set called plan so going to our sets we can see that plan gives us access to how each of those objects is represented Moving to the right of our dialog, what we see is we have entries for threshold plan, which applies to doors, and sill plan, which applies to both windows and door window assemblies. And what we see for each entry is a simple yes for on or no for off. And we can achieve this simply by clicking on the field, changing it from no to yes. Just before we look at our sill configuration, let's just take a quick look at our wall. We see here that Whilst the sill is drawn for the window, the door window and assembly and door don't have a sill, but lines are there in green where the wall would be. So if we select our wall and go to edit the wall style, we go to display properties, we look at plan, so there's no overrides on plan. We can see that that green line actually refer, refers to the wall that's above the cut plane, so our, our section height horizontally through the building. If we turn that to no, apply that and close, what we'll see is that those green lines disappear, leaving us with just the sills 
for the window and nothing else at the moment. So remembering how we switch the sills on, going to our AEC, Display Manager, sets for our particular representation using plan here. So we look along door, come along to the C threshold plan, we can turn that on, just double clicking there, sill plan, just double click. And we notice that for Windows, that is already on. Close that, regen, pressing R on the keyboard, and we have our sills drawn. We can now tailor the sills to get them as we wish them. So we see we've got horns here on all three, but no back sill drawn on the doors. So going back to our, our drawing, we can select the window, right click, go to edit window style. By doing it through the style rather than the object display, we'll actually provide an override here. So if we say, um, so just clicking that yes, no, so we'll have an override on that, which will then give us an override for the whole style. So all windows using that style will have the same sills drawn. So both sills drawn, and we can change that to 50 and 50, apply that. And we'll see that we now have the sill drawn. Same thing for our DWA. So again, editing the style, applying an override. Both sills drawn, going to other, making that 50 and 50. And finally for our door, right click, edit the door style, go to display properties, threshold plan, and then the properties for that. We don't wish to see threshold A, which is on the side of the door. So we'll turn that off, remembering to apply it. Going then to the other, we'll turn the extension. So we see on the side of the door, A and B. So we want C and D. So we'll just make those 50 millimeters, apply that, close and close. And there is our finished door. And of course, those being part of the style, those will apply to any doors of that style that we apply, uh, that we create in the drawing. So just to recap, we first switched on the sills using the display manager, using the configuration, checking which particular configuration we were using, so plan and our sets, so there was plan, and then choosing the particular objects coming along to the representation, in this case, threshold plan and sill plan. Then having set that, we could choose the individual object, then edit the style to set an override on the particular sill plan, and then going through and setting the properties, including the offsets.